Hello, welcome back. So, stuff went down at Blackgate, and Black Mast has, was doing something there. He killed the police commissioner, and apparently there's assassins after us. So, can't talk to Alfred. We're gonna find out what's on that computer chip that we found on that little drone. Which is, surprise, it's about information about the uh, assassins. Assassins, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers. The best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, do you say? Garfield Lenz, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not him. What the? Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze. says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train mm. tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. Deathstroke, by the, the way, Batwing is prepped is awesome. and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. A question, sir, if I may. How did Wayland Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism, from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting the Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men, you'll want to leave soon. Can I talk to you again? When one finds oneself on the opposite side of the law, a reassessment is usually in order. You're right. Someone needs to clean up corruption inside the GCPD. That wasn't exactly what I meant. 
Your detective work tonight is most interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, profiles. All of our assassins. Bane. No unnamed. Supreme strength and agility combined with the mind of a master tactician. Seems dependent on a substance delivery system. Possible weakness. Bane is a fugitive wanted by the government of Santa Prisca following a prison break from Penaduro. While no records have been found to substi substantiate this, rumors allege Bane was born and raised within the prison walls, a seemingly impossible feat in the all-male penitentiary. Bane is believed to be traveling with a large group of his follow fellow escapees. Most notable is his chief's subordinate, Bird. Bane is rumored to have a superhuman size and strength. Oh, to have. I put, added an A in there. Most believe this to be a result of his abuse of performance enhancing drugs, including the popular narcotic Venom. Combined with a keen mind, this makes Bane an, an extreme threat. Copperhead. Unknown. Tattooing. She's a Central American gang membership. Master escape artist. Abnormal physiology allows for unnatural contortions. Maybe one of, of a larger group operating under the same name. Records indicate Copperhead is an alias used by hitmen working for Central and South American drug cartels. Both, But this Copperhead is clearly female. This could indicate that the name Copperhead is actually a title or label for an underworld organization. Either way, Copperhead seems capable of escaping nearly all forms of confinement. Kill techniques range from strangulation and crushed bones to acute toxicity resulting in death. Deadshot. Floyd Lawton. Master marksman. Former military specific background redacted. Reckless attitude suggests mental instability among the best SARP shooters in the world. Lawton was a lethal military sniper with a long list of assassinations, but according to his records, he often takes unnecessary risk or makes his plans unnecessarily complex. Perhaps this is why he has... He was discharged from service and took up mercenary work. Though his military record is mostly redacted, his psychological profile suggests he harbors deep feelings of guilt regarding his accidental murder of his own brother. Ooh. Deathstroke the badass. <laughs> Slade Wilson. Tactically brothers with Deadpool across universes. And... I ain't gotta look that up. There's like more to the story, but technically they are brothers. I think Deadpool is really supposed to be like a DC character or something. I don't know. I don't read comics. I have to look it up. But I know that technically, technically, I air quotes here. They're brothers because Deadpool kept the last name Wilson. Let's see. Medically enhanced physical and mental abilities. Master of multiple combat techniques. Strategic mind. Missing his right eye. Wilson was an accomplished member of the Special Forces. This distinction earned him admittance into a covert program where he was subjected to extensive mental and physical augmentation. The procedures left him with an increased mental function as well as enhanced speed, strength, and stamina. Though much of the files redacted, it appears that Slade was eventually discharged from the military, though the exact circumstances are not specified. He has since taken up work as a mercenary. His augmentations coupled with his master of hand-to-hand -hand combat make him a for formidable opponent. I s missed a D in there. Possibly one of the most dangerous Batman has ever or ever has ever or will ever face. He's basically Captain America gone wrong. The Electrocutioner, Lester Bucheski. Street tough out to make a name for himself, has surprising skill in electrical engineering, big mouth. More bronze than brains, his initial assessment of build shot. Oh, is the initial assessment of, but yeah. But he has been able to create some kind of custom made weapon glo weaponized gloves that pick a powerful electrical discharge. Their craftsmanship suggests there is more going on between his ears than the sound of his own boasting. Though he may have had help constructing them, perhaps even had them made by someone else. His arrogance and overconfidence are his weakness. Firefly. <coughs> Garfield Lind. Obsessive compulsive pyromechanic. Multiple instances of severe burns all over his body. Utilizes custom made flame floor, thrower, jetpack, and incendiary grenades. Linz has specialized knowledge of incendiary devices, yet often gets burned by the fires he's creating. What little is in his medical records suggests he does not 
seek treatment for the pain. It seems to invoke a pleasure response in him. This is a dangerous combination. His obsession with fire is driving him to take even larger risks. And he is even and if he is not stopped, he's going to destroy himself and potentially much of God of the city with him. Killer Croc captured. Wayland Jones. He looks different. Instinctual hunter with heightened senses. Dynamic physiology appearance continuously changes. Well, that explains why he looks different from now to uh, Arkham Asylum. Medical records class Jones as suffering from a rare form of epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. Keratosis. It normally causes skin to scale, but there's more to Jones than that. It's true that his skin has grown dense enough to repel gunfire. Gunfire? Wow. But that doesn't explain the rest of the changes. His size, sense of smell, unexplained dental eruptions, and warped digits. The degree to which he has been affected is remarkable and suggests this may have, may actually be a form of ativ atavism that simply resembles hyperkeratosis and may also be the result of intentional genetic manipulation. Further study is required. Regardless of their origin, his strength and ferocity makes him an immense physical threat. Shiva. Unknown name. Martial arts grandmaster. Unmatched skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Police records are thin, but indica indications are that Shiva is a highly trained and extremely dangerous assassin. Rumor is that she selects many of her targets simply to test her skills. There are no known survivors from these encounters. The threat she represents cannot be underestimated. Okay, to the game. Let's go visit Arkham. Or Arkham. Sir, Let's go visit Gotham. Twelve minutes of absolutely nothing but cutscene and right reading. Sorry, once again. The biggest flaw I've seen with this game is really the lagging of the cutscenes. People make this game sound broken, but I haven't run into any, anything like that. Installing to the hard drive also helps a lot. I think it froze like once the entire time I played this game. But the most I see is probably just, you know, usual texture glitches and really the lagging of those cutscenes. my smoke pellets here. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Dun, 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 dun. Head -on predator mission. Get myself shot, and probably the hostage too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that? Get off me! I quit. Think it's the guy that hired us? Yeah. Punch. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Yeah, I just saved your life. I don't know if about you, but I would be pretty freaked out if one guy dressed up as a bat is taking everyone down. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. I am not here to hurt you. Unless you threaten to hurt me. 
Then in which case I will break your arms and legs. I don't kill, but I will break your arms and legs. And give you a really bad headache. The detective vision in this game is pretty cool. But I do kind of agree with the review that I read. IGN's, I think. Or maybe the machine was. Either way, I do agree that the um, they can do a little bit more. Detective vision kind of points everything out for you. Maybe that should be like for maybe easy I or optional. This tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up but a you'll see what I mean. Find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. Victim's name is David Shannon. A you see how it's pointing it out? You should be able like, to like, figure it out yourself. Tower, but like, what's another game that I played that kind of did something like that? Provide an answer. I do like the detective vision. Hopefully, it's in um, Arkham Knight. The victim was killed by some kind of explosion. What's that another game that had like a detective system like this? You had to actually look around, kind of a. Actually, you know what? Might be thinking of Metroid, Other M, where it had that annoying scan thing. It looks like the panel was. And it was actually. I haven't played it, but it looks really, really annoying because really what they want you to find is really tiny and hard to see. Like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. I mean, having it point out to you is I'm good, or make it more noticeable. Like what, comes back. what Other M failed to do. Like someone's tying up loose ends. Uh, I can really? bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Like they need more moments of this, because I get I can control the crime scene. Whoop 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 whoop. And you see me bleh, need more of this, where you have to figure it out your own, even though they still kind of point it out to you. Either way, it's a cool feature. Arkham City kind of had had a little bit of it, but it was still very simple. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. There you go. Ten percent already, nice. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data for my analysis too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Having Alfred do all that, you would think they would lead him to Bruce Wayne being Batman. Unless he's like doing a good job of covering his track. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. It's the Riddler. Smart ass. You're dealing with Batman. Hmm. Black mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? 
What the? Oh, we can fast travel here now. I can travel here with the bat wing. I'll take those out too. I see you've regained control of the bat wing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel. Plaza There's a wind going through that building, that wall. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. And welcome to Gotham. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Alright. Now we'll as well do this real quick. Enigma. Unknown, unknown, incredibly, incredible intellect, but also highly insecure. Compulsive need to prove his superiority, master hacker. Enigma seems able to defeat mo almost all forms of network security. Batman's own network is under threat of attack and steps must be taken to ensure no further incursions. If he was able to access the Bat computer, there's no telling how much damage he could do. Fortunately, his insecurities cause him to act out. The more he draws attention to himself, the easier he becomes tracked down. Alright, and we'll end this here, and we'll start exploring Gotham in the next part. So thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye!